with news you can use. We've got several items. Uh, the first one is compliments of uh, uh, Miss uh, Michelle Roberts, some research she did for me. Uh, and we're going to talk about some of the new FHA rules and regulations. First off, uh, the FHA has announced that on post foreclosure sale uh, repos, or what they call, uh, used to be called REO properties, properties that went through a foreclosure process and didn't sell at the auction and then went back to the FHA, they're going to pull a, an old trick out of their bag and it's something that they did uh, back in the 80s and 90s. And they are gonna offer those properties first to uh, organic homeowners, owner occupants, and then secondly to government institutions. Um, and so those two are gonna have priority over who's been buying the majority of the REO properties for the last 15 years, which are investors. So it's this is nothing new, but they had eased the rules about 15 years ago, and now they're reinstituting these rules uh, to make it easier for people who actually want to live in a home to buy these post foreclosure, we used to be called REO, real estate owned or other real estate owned REO properties. Uh, so that's, that is what is going to be happening there. And they have to implement that by August, although the rules take effect uh, immediately. The second thing uh, the FHA is doing is they have instituted a new uh, mitigation measure for properties that are in forbearance. And I suspect uh, this will also be for properties that go into foreclosure. And what they're going to do is one of their their first things that they will triage is if the, the people who own the house and haven't been making the mortgage payment can make a lower payment, they're going to extend that mortgage out to 40 years. So they'll basically recast it to a 40 year AM, dropping the payments, uh, that type of thing. I don't know what they're gonna do as far as interest rates. If they keep the interest rates where they were uh, on the original loan, and then they just move the term out to 40 more years, uh, this will be very interesting. You'll probably see foreclosures, at least FHA foreclosures, dry up because that could have a big, significant impact on the ability of some people to pay. Um, they they were going to do it just in special cases, but the, what I read today indicates they're going to do it across the board. So uh, once again, the government's sticking their nose in this deal, and they're going to try and make it easier for people who haven't paid to not pay over a longer period of time. Uh, because as we all know, most of these forbearance things, they eat, people either got into them quickly and then got right out of them, or they went all the way to the end and they're still not making payments. So even with a reset to a different type of thing, um, once again, they're just not making those, those payments. So uh, it's a case of kicking the can down the road, not a year or two, but out 40 years. So we'll see what happens. Uh, eventually. The old adage of if you don't pay, you can't stay will have to take effect. Uh, but then again, we are talking about the U.S. government and all they got to do is crank up the printing presses to print more money. And so it's it's really kind of a, a silly exercise uh, when we're playing both sides of the, the equation there. That's item number two. Item number three, uh, an interesting um, approach that home it's Home Point Lending, Home Point Mortgage Corporation, has come up with a brand new program to get their buyers, the people who borrow money from them, to get them more a, a better chance of getting a home, have a higher, stronger opportunity to actually win a bid when there's a multiple bid situation. And what they're doing is they're taking for their best, most qualified borrowers, they are allowing these people to get cash for the entire amount of the, of the, the offer uh, instead of a loan. So people would come in and then bid with cash instead of bid with a loan. So typically the way it would work today, most people who buy houses are people who are gonna live in there and it'll be subject to their loan approval, final loan approval, that type of thing. This will allow a buyer to come in just like an investor does, all cash, no contingencies, no appraisal. And those are the two things they've added to this. There'll be no contingencies, no appraisal. Now, of course, it's their most qualified borrowers. That's the term they're using. We don't know what that means, uh, but that will make it much more difficult for investors to buy properties for cash that need uh, anything more than uh, you know a small amount of work. So in other words, the stuff that needs small amounts of work 
they'll probably qualify under this program. Anything that's a typical rehab, major rehab that we didn't end up doing as a fester group uh, will still be something they can't bid on for cash. But it does tend to level the playing field. It's, you know, hats off to these guys. It's smart uh, because right now, if a, a seller gets three offers, two cash and one terms, they're going to almost always go with cash unless there's a significant difference between those two uh, or not a significant difference between those two. So uh, that would be uh, something we're going to keep our eyes on. We'll let you know how that goes. I'm not sure the mechanics exactly because they just announced it today, uh, but I suspect there'll be some, they're guaranteed to close Nesco escrow within 10 days. That's one of the other features that I think is going to be very beneficial to everybody. Uh, if you can get that thing closed within 10 days, it's all cash, no contingencies, no appraisal. Uh, it's going to give our, us a hard run for our money as investors to always be able to uh, beat out most organic homeowners, home buyers. Because right now, we can beat these guys nine times out of 10 with cash. But they come to the party with cash. It's like, you know, we're all in a gunfight and they've only had a knife. The rest of us have guns. Now they're giving them a bazooka to come in with. So it'll be an interesting battle. We'll let you know how that thing goes, where it's going to play out first. Uh, and, and the last item is this California initiative that has just passed, uh, where basically they're going to give new homeowners, people who haven't owned a home, I think it was like seven or eight years previously, they're going to give them the down payment. Uh, now they had this program in effect when I started in the business in the late 90s. And this was a big thing I understood in the 80s and 90s. Typically, it was the cities and counties here. It's going to be the state of California, in California only. And they're going to go ahead and gift the down payment amount to people uh, to live in those homes. Now, I haven't seen the detail yet, but if it's like it was before, those folks had to stay in that house for X number of years before that loan. It's, they call it a loan, but it's not a loan. It's a forgivable loan or a dischargeable loan before it's forgiven. So I don't know what the details are on this thing here. There was talk last year about the state of California instituting a program where they would do this, but then they would permanently own a percentage of the house. If they gave you 10% for down payment, they'd own 10% of the house. Uh, so when you sold it, 10% of the profit went to them. But since then, California has made a rule. If you sell a house within three years of buying it, you have to pay a 25% excise penalty tax on any profit gained. And that's for everybody, whether it's an organic homeowner, investor, whatever. So, you know, we've got one side fighting the other. I'll let you know once we find out. But it's, it is an interesting way to, once again, try and level the playing field for folks who want to be able to go in and buy a home and live in it versus us as investors trying to flip property. Bottom line, state of California, <laughs> in my opinion. It's a, it's a rough place to flip properties. Uh, if for no other reason than the government sticking their nose and everything. All right.